needed to talk to me, can I help lead me into it? Sure. Well, Carl, what do you think about me traveling America and working with at-risk youth? Well, first, uh, it's, it's very risky, but it's very gutsy. And I, I commend you for it. I think that it's really going to be uh, a neat thing. It's going to be something that you're going to, that's going to be hard for you now. But that at some point when it's over, you'll be really proud of what you did and um, pleased that you were able to do it. And you got, you know, you had a lot of hurdles, uh, obstacles and stuff that, that are going to come up. And more than once, I suspect in the next month or so, you're going to say... Uh, Let's, let's forget it and go home. But but you need to push on because because really what you're doing is is really helpful and it's very selfless. You know because you're not really doing this to sell books. You're doing this to help people, and uh, and that will come through with other people. They'll recognize it. Even though they may be, you know, suspicious at first, or wonder about your um, what your motivation is, but but they'll see. And just like I think they saw it today or yesterday, was it yesterday? You know, a lot of the people, adults, particularly, realized after a bit that your motivations were 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 honorable and that you just went, wanted to make connection with kids. But you know, adults are, adults are skeptical about people coming in and, uh, you know, you, I guess you need to, you know, recognize that that's going to happen, but that what you want to do is, I, I don't think you should worry so much about that one way or the other. I think you should focus on making a connection with the kids as best you can. And because um, that's what you need to do and that's what you want to do. And that's what you will do. I, I believe that's what you will do. Okay. So when you come back, it's going to be a lot of stories to 